Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, April 24, 2024. I hope we are doing well this morning and I pray that God will continue to pour out his love and his favor on you. Our reading today comes to us from John chapter 12, reading from verse 27 to 33 and it says now is my soul troubled and what shall i say father save me from this hour but for this cause came i unto this hour father glorify thy name then came there a voice from heaven saying i have both glorified it and will glorify it again the people, therefore, that stood by and heard it, said that it thundered. Others, others said an angel speak to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I... If I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. This he said, sanctifying what debt he should die. Amen. We give God thanks this morning again for his holy words. And may we be blessed as we continue to search the scriptures. Now, we can see in this reading here that Jesus was a bit troubled about this experience that he was about to undertake. The sin of our souls were troubling for him. When he decided to undertake this responsibility or this task to save us, but he also understood that in order for us to be saved, this was a journey that he had to make. And so he was praying to his father, asking that his father would save him from this hour. So this was similar to the prayer that he prayed at Gethsemane. You remember when he said, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. So this what he's saying here is not too much far from it. Because what he says that, save me from this hour, but, so he went on to say, but, so the weight of the, the world and the sins of this world was so much burden on him that he wanted to be rescued from this responsibility. But he said not his will, basically, because he understood that this was the reason why he came. And in extension, because of his everlasting love for us, as much as it was a burden for him, and as much as it brought him pain, he would have, he was willing to go through with it. So this is just to tell you that even Jesus himself experienced sorrow, experienced burden. And that is why he is the perfect one to help you and I when we are going through our trials, when we feel burdened, when we feel broken, when we feel like an outcast. Because he experienced all of these things. And so he's a perfect person to run to because he persevered and he did what he had to do or what he came to do, which is to give his life for our sin. Amen. And I praise God for that. I praise God that he never gave up and he never threw in the towel because you and I would not have been here this morning. And so... We must always pray that God will be done. And so Jesus glorified the Father. And 
God the Father responded. But when he responded, it sounded like thundering to the people. And some of the people said, maybe it was an angel that was speaking to him. So another lesson that we can take away from this that God, when God speaks to those who are not his, it will sound scary and it will sound confusing. But for the children of God, it will be like when you are communicating with someone. And scripture teaches us that as well. So Christ reconciling the world to God by the merit of his death. He, when he died on the cross, he broke the power of death and sin. And that cast Satan out the destroyer. So Christ bringing the world to God by the doctrine of the cross, by his sacrifice of the cross, broke the power of sin. And so now we have that opportunity to be forgiven of our sin. We can go to him freely and confess and he will forgive us because of the bloodstained banner of Prince Emmanuel. And I say, Amen. So that soul, that was distant from Christ is now brought to love him and to trust him. Amen? Because after considering what he just did or what he's about to do and what he did for you and for me, how can we not love him? How can we not trust him? You see what I'm saying? Jesus is now going to heaven. So after his death, he will leave and go to heaven and continue that ministerial service to keep interceding on our behalf. Amen? So there is power in the death of Christ to draw soul to him. And I say, Amen. Remember we talk about that? Dying with Christ and resurrecting with him with new life. So a new experience is given unto us and finally as he said that if i if i be lifted up i will draw all men unto me and isn't that what he is that did it draw people to him his sacrifice redeem us from the bonds of sin and set us free and now we are drawn to him by that love and by that grace. And so he said, sanctify what death I should die. And I say, Amen. May God bless you continually. And may you accept what Christ went through for you and for me. And may we draw near to him as he draw near unto us. Amen.